Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. If you've ever felt a little bit confused about exactly what your client sees when they log into their client portal to preview a project, then keep watching because the new update that I'm about to show you is gonna give you total clarity into all of that. Now the update that I'm referring to is this new option right here where you can preview the project as a client. And the best thing about this is that if I click this, it's basically going to show me the exact view my client would see if they logged into their client portal to review the project. So now you can see exactly what your client is going to be using to interact with the project. They've got access to all the design boards that you've shared with them. They can click into any of these design boards to view it. They can use the arrows to flip through and see any other designs, and they can scroll down to the product list to make their selections and leave feedback. They also have access to their project navigation up here, and this is where they're gonna access all the documents that you've shared with them. So if you've submitted questionnaires or quotes or invoices to them, they can click into any of these and they'll be able to see the documents that you've shared and quickly open them up. Now, the great thing about this uh, preview option is that it gives you a number of different ways that you can use this to interact with your client and move your projects forward faster. And we're gonna get into that in just a moment. The one thing that I do wanna to bring to your attention about these client facing views is that when you are jumping from project to project, you might notice that the client uh, facing view, uh, the project navigation changes from project to project. And the reason for that is that this navigation is based on what you have submitted to your design client. So if you have one client where you've only submitted designs, questionnaires, and quotes, then that's what they're gonna see in their navigation. If you have another uh, client where you have also submitted invoices and the order tracker and contracts, then they're gonna see all of this. So your project navigation uh, for your client projects is based on what you submit to them. Just wanted to make, make sure that you're aware of that. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about some of the different ways that you can use this new preview mode to help you move your projects forward. So I'm gonna close out of the client facing mode. We'll come back to my designer account here. In this project, you can see that I have uh, six design boards. I've got four of them that are actually submitted to the client and I've got two here that are still saved as a draft. Now, if I go into the preview as client mode, it's going to show me the boards that I've actually submitted to the client. But let's say that I've got the other two that are saved as a draft. And before I share those with my client, I just want to confirm that I have set up the product list to only show the appropriate product details. So I'm not letting my client shop the items themselves. So up here, you're going to see that you do have the option to show the draft boards. If I turn this toggle on, it's going to show me the draft boards. But just because I've turned this toggle on, it does not mean my client has access to these draft boards. They don't. It's only here to allow you to actually preview these boards and make sure that you're happy with all of the details that you've set up and you've hidden all the appropriate information. So you can preview it and if you're good to go, great. You can come all the way back up to the top here. You can close out of your client facing preview and now you can submit this design board to your client as well, knowing that all the information is set up the way that you want, and then go ahead and share the designs. And only after you share the designs does this board actually become visible to your client within their client portal. Now, the other thing that you can do with this new feature is let's say that you've got a client that might not be so tech savvy. I mean, the client facing portal is pretty like lean and clean, so it's very hard to get lost. But for whatever reason, let's just say that you had a client that was struggling to find a specific invoice. Well, now you've got this clean interface that you can use to literally guide your client through their client portal. So um, I could hop on a phone call, I could hop on a screen share with my client, I can pop into the preview as client mode, and then I can show them what their client portal looks like. And I could say, all right, let's go ahead, we're gonna click into the invoices, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna access it. You can see the one that's past due, just click the ID number to open up the invoice and then scroll to the bottom and click to uh, pay by credit card at the bottom of the invoice. So it makes it really easy for you to address any of the questions that your client has about their client portal. It also makes it easy for you to quickly direct them through the client portal to take action on the uh, items that you need them to take action on. Now, another thing that we could actually do here is with this new client facing mode, it also is perfect for doing your presentations because if you have been using design files, I'm just gonna cancel out of the client facing mode there for a second. 
If you've been using design files for a while and let's say that you've created all of your designs, you're ready to present, um, but you don't want to share your designer facing account because additional details might be showing like faded out shop buttons, or if you opened up your invoice, you would run the risk of your client maybe seeing your markup and you, you just want to make sure that you're not doing any of those things. With the new feature, it means that when you choose to share content with your client, if I pop into the preview as client mode, I can now freely go about presenting to my client knowing that I'm not gonna run the risk of showing some information that I did not want to show. So whether I go to my client's house to sit on the sofa with them with a laptop, or if I do a screen share, I can now freely move through the whole presentation from design board to design board. I can scroll down to any of the product lists knowing that only the information I want is gonna show. And I can also, if my client had questions that they brought up about a quote or they wanted to see something about the order tracker and they want to see the status of something i can now navigate to any of these sections knowing that it's going to show me that client facing view so we can go through the order tracker we can open up the quotes to just confirm that yes in fact they have improved it and we can go through any other documents that they want to go through without having any concerns about what's being shared and that's about it. So, I mean, you definitely wanna give this new feature a try. It's gonna make communicating with your clients so much easier. It's gonna give you the access that you need to help guide them through their client portal. It's also gonna give you more confidence because you can see what it looks like from your end and from their end. So you can actually just work closely together with your client to move everything forward that much faster. And of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out to us on the live chat. We're more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.